Today we are going to discuss keyword research from Seller Sprite. First of all, come to here and then you are gonna see different marketplaces available to the keyword research like India, Canada, Italy, etc. And then after that, we are gonna see different time frames. For example, it means we can do keyword research for December 2021. Or we can even go to analyze keywords in October 2021. It means all data sets will be related to October 2021. Nothing will be related to today. For example, keyword search volume, keyword purchase volume, keyword purchase rate, as in rank. Everything will be related with that time frame we selected from here. Let's go down here. We can see presets. If you put high demand or trending, we're gonna fill in this filtration and see some trending products. I leave it open and then I want to do keyword research according to what I like. Under that, we need to select categories like household, home and kitchen, toys and games, etc. It's up to you. For example, I select electronics from the right side. There, as you see, a lot of filtration function. It is search volume and this is search growth. So, what does it mean? We compare previous month's search volume with this month. If you put 10, it means the previous month's search volume will be lower than this month and this is the same as the year-over-year -year search increase. So, if the keyword search volume was 1000 last year and I want to find a keyword search volume at least 100 more. So, you can put your number. This one is for percentage. And this is for three months comparison or quarter comparison. You can put here like 20% or 30%. It means that this quarter keyword search volume is 20% higher than the previous quarter. So, let's go down here. We can select different types of market, like seasonal in Christmas time or seasonal in the beginning of year growing market, declining market, etc. So here you can select new niche. For example, this niche is growing, or this niche is in the beginning stage, etc. You can leverage this tool for your keyword research. From here, you can select a purchase amount. If I put 1000 here, it means there were 1000 orders last month after searching for this particular keyword. This is purchase rate. It's also very important. I would like to put always four to five at least. It indicates directly keyword conversion ratio. So this keyword will be better for your listing. You're gonna rank quickly. Your conversion ratio will be better. So from here, you can select the traffic cost. What's traffic cost? We can put four here and it means we need to spend four bucks to generate 100 bucks for this keyword. You can put any number you like. Click concentration. You know, this is coming from Amazon. If you put like 20 or 30, so you're gonna find the keywords with less dominance. If there is 80% dominance in the market, it means three guys already consume 80% of the market and leftover sellers just get 20% of the market. This is not good. Sellers always put around 20 to 30, something like that. For average ratings, you can put here like 4.2, 4.5, etc. And you can put your word count, which means how many words you would like to see in the keyword phrase. And from here you can leverage. For example, if you would like to do research for yoga mat or yoga related, you put here yoga, or whatever keyword you would like. And if you would like to refuse any keywords, the result will not have this keyword or word included. Just put here, for example, battery, or whatever you would like, you can put it, and then the result will not contain this particular keyword. We are gonna get more than 3,200 keywords. We need to break down it. And how can you do it? Again, you can use this filtration tool. For example, put three words minimum and then select it and it decreases to 2,300. And from here, 
You can select any specific category like home and kitchen or whatever you would like and click search now. We are going to decrease to 642. So, by going down, you can leverage this tool and to find exact keyword. Horizontally, you can see a monthly purchase rate and monthly search volume. For example, just take one keyword and talk about that. Dehumidifier for basement. This keyword has month search volume of over 131,000 and this is the daily average search volume. This is the purchase amount. They purchase more than 4,100 and its conversion ratio is 3.15%. The search score is down. Maybe it's a kind of seasonal product because it's in the winter and people don't use it too much. From here, you see the year-over-year -year growth is good and compared to December data in the previous year with that in this year. We see it's increasing. You can see similarly month over month. You can see click concentration. This is also very important. It's over 18%, which is good. So, it means the market has not been dominated by some big sellers. And you can see three sellers click concentration and the conversion share accordingly. From here, you can analyze PPC bids. When you click over, we're gonna generate keyword history and a keyword minimum slash maximum. Also suggested bid for different time frame like 2020, December. We have been tracking this keyword since that time and we can understand what's the keyword PPC bids over time. If you would like to see historical trend of keyword, just click over. We're gonna see the keyword volume and we can see Google Trends as well. We can see click concentration of this keyword, also conversion share, market analysis, you understand it from here. For example, there are 21 products between 100 and 150 in the market. From here, you can download or go to keyword mining to explore this keyword more. So, from here, you can see Google Trends and keep it trends as well. You don't need to go to Keepa or Google to analyze further. After finding any keywords, you can select from here to compare them like this. Or you can add those keywords to your list. Let me select these two keywords. For example, I like these two keywords, and I can add these keywords into my keyword list. This is the previous one I created, or I can create new one like new to and save and add. So, these two keywords have been added into my keyword list. Ultimately, I can go check out later. So from here, you can extract all these data sets like growth, click concentration, traffic cost, etc. Or you can export only keywords. Click here and export keywords. If you would like to sort according to different metrics, Select it from here, like click concentration. From here, you can make a decision, descending or ascending. Just select it and click go. We are gonna sort those keywords according to click concentration. As you see, it's going down. So, keyword research is a long process. And I am sure you can find appropriate products from here. You need to analyze further and make a decision whether you can launch this product or not. Just keep in mind, keyword research is the first step of process. Maybe after finding keywords, you need to analyze more different metrics like profitability, talking with factory in China, preparing PPC strategy, preparing launch strategy and keeping everything on hand. After that, you can make a decision you can choose to launch this product or not. Because at the end of the day, we launch a product and we do all of these things to make money. So, thank you for watching. You may go and check it out.